Okay, so great news for Raspberry Pi OS. We now have Vulkan enabled as standard. So this is the 3D graphics hardware drivers which are enabled by default now. I was going to play around with some overclocking, but I'll cover this and do overclocking in another video. But to enable me to overclock, I've actually used the bottom mounted NVMe drive for this Pi. And you can see I've used a couple of heat sinks just to give it a bit of space so it's not touching my desk. Um, because the main thing I want to keep cool is the CPU GPU. So I've got an ice tower cooler on here. And so I've been playing around with it for the last couple of days or so. And it's been really good. And as you can see, the fan's not on at the moment because it's, uh, it's cool enough as it is. But when I start to overclock in future videos, hopefully it will be enough. So let's have a look at the Pharonix story. Uh, so Raspberry Pi OS now shipping with Vulkan support by default. So this was the 8th of April. For those running the official Raspberry Pi OS on Raspberry Pi 4 and 5, the Misa V3DV Vulkan driver is now shipping by default to provide a better out-of-the-box experience. So if we have a look at the terminal, Control alt t we can now type in VK cube, and you can see it comes up with a cube, which it didn't used to do by default, uh, but we can also do Vulkan info, and we get loads of information. And annoyingly, the number, the version, is kind of hidden within all of this. But if we scroll up, I think, I think that was it there. No, it's further up. Yeah, so you can see the version that we've got at the moment is Misa 23.2.1.1. And you can see it's, it's really far down in the list, which I find strange. There might be another way of checking it. Now, uh, I've been playing around with things to see what it supports. Now, Super Touch Car, I saw a story on uh, that does support it. And if I go via terminal, and instead of launching it with just Super Touch Car, if I put this in, and I've got something else in here, Mango HUD, which was installed by sudo apt install Mango HUD, and basically it shows your FPS. Uh, so if I go back to that launch, Mango HUD, so this bit launches the frame counter, then I've got Super Touch Car, and this bit does Vulkan, although I'm not sure if you need this bit now. I think, well, the story was an older story, and I think it just uses Vulkan by default, but I'll do it anyway. And you can see it comes up with Vulkan here very briefly. And here's the FPS counter, you can see 111 FPS. Currently got my desktop at 1080, I might need to lose the music. Let's not lose it completely. Yeah, that'll be alright. And if we just go in for a single race... I've been playing a few different tracks, I'm not sure which ones look the best, so let's go with this one. And I've got a controller plugged in here. So watch that frame counter top left. And it does, it, I've played a load of the tracks and it does seem to be nice and fast. What's this bit here? Oh, I had like a ticking time bomb. Will I hear that go off? Maybe I'm too far away from him. Let's go with someone else this time. Ah, oh, here we go, Look, let's go. I'm, I'm not an expert at this game, I don't really play it very much, but let's give it a try and see how difficult it makes it. We'll go with this track. Oh, 41 FPS. Nice start. Pressing the wrong button. That's a lot less FPS, but it does look fine. And it's way for Oh, so the expert is, is much faster. I, di I didn't realise it was... I thought it was going to be the the competition from the other drivers. Oh, that's much better. Interesting how it affects the FPS so much though. But it still feels really nice to play. Off I got here, another bowling ball. Oh, just missed, this will be fast. Oh, he does a little, he kicks his back out. Still an expert, so let's try something else. Let's try this one, that looks pretty good, this mountain. Yes, it's much better that it's on this speed. What's, what have we got? Oh, so we're back to 110, so it must be... That track must have loads of details in it. So it's not quite so optimised. Oh, this is speed up. Here we go. Yeah, that feels absolutely fine. And we're still, yeah, 110, 111. Let's 
Grab another weapon. Bowling ball. Before he swats me. Perfect. Yeah, happy with that. Right, let's show a few other things. We're going to drop the desktop resolution. Oh. Down to uh, 720 for this bit. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so, exit race. And quit out of that. And I've actually got on here... Uh, oh, let's drop that desktop resolution first. Screen configuration, screens and resolution 720. You can see I'm using HDMI 2. I think my HDMI 1 is faulty. Okay, so let's play a bit of Doom. Now, I did read that this Doom 3, there is a Vulkan version, but I'm not sure if this version is using Vulkan, but it's working fine. I was playing it earlier on and uh, I was really quite enjoying it does look pretty decent. This was installed with uh, Pi Apps. So we do load game. Where's the latest one? Oh, it doesn't remember quite as far as I got. Oh, I need to try and launch this with the FPS, don't I? So let's quit out of that. I wonder if you just launch it with Doom 3. No. Doom 3 demo with capital Ds. No. How do I find out how to do that then? Let's have a look. Doom 3 demo. Oh, Doom 3. But it's a .exe file, so I don't think that's going to work. Because it's done through PyApps, and I guess it's been set up in a different way. It looks like I can't use that FPS counter, so let's just go back and play it as is. I might be able to do it with PSP. I've literally just found that FPS counter, so I probably need to read a bit more about how you get it to work. More and loads of things, because on Windows you can just have it that it launches with pretty much any game with similar type of things. So, I haven't got FPS on this, but actually, I think you'd be able to see that it, it runs pretty decent. Come on, give me a weapon. Yeah, I'll do that. You can see it looks pretty decent. Nice to have a new mouse and keyboard. But even when... I was being attacked and things earlier on, it still felt fast. I like this bit. That wasn't because I shunned the flashlight, he always says that. You know something's going to go wrong if you've got to put your flashlight on. And there's blood splattered all over the walls. The oxygen's going down fast. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> oh dear. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. This guy goes a bit crazy at this point. Not sure quite when he turns. Oh, here we go, look. That's when he turns. <laughs> I wasn't looking at him last time. Oh, I definitely need a better gun than this. Oh, and this guy's got a gun. And he's a little bit possessed. Any more of them? Anyways, you can see it's working pretty well. Headshot's not good enough. Probably not good to go that way. So we quit out of that. So what's it called again? Mango HUD. PPSSPP. Okay, so PPSSPP doesn't launch in that way either. But uh, it has got its own FPS counter anyway, so if we go into it. And you can see it came up with Vulcan. Uh, we've got Vulcan here, V3D 7.1.7. I want three times PSP. And we play a bit of GTA. And if I load the state, it looks really nice at three times PSP. And uh, it's meant to be 30 FPS. And as you can see, it's a solid 30 FPS, even as things are popping up. Oh. It's going to be close. It's a really well optimised game, this. 
because uh, the Arctic Storm didn't work that well at all. In fact, it really was slow. But I think that's more the game rather than anything else. But yeah, as you can see, Vulcan is definitely working on this. I mean, it's been working for quite some time on PPSSPB, but now that it's built in to the operating system as standard, I think that's really got to be a good thing. You don't have to think about it for games or anything. It's just nice that it's that it's already enabled. So great work by the team working on Raspberry Pi OS. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Where am I going to go here? Oh yeah, different.